how I performed and recorded my first performance. What's up family, this is J-Dog. Uh, thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome. So this video is a continuation of the video I posted earlier in the week. Uh, I did a video on, on how to book your first performance. This is a video on how I performed and recorded my first performance. So let's hop right into it. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So my setup for this performance, I have my guitar, my bass, have my guitar amp, my bass amp. Uh, I ran my tracks in Ableton. Uh, I recorded into Logic on the same computer. Thank you for the M1 chip, Apple. That was awesome. I uh, used a MIDI controller to run my tracks. I uh, used my interface, pedal board, etc. Well, actually, I think that was it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give you a breakdown of everything that I did to record. So first things first, let's go ahead and hop into my Ableton session. Okay, so here is a Ableton session that I built for the Pecan Street Festival that is happening uh, this Sunday. What's in the session is not important, but I had a different session called Solo Act, and it's a uh, session that has a lot of more instrumentation in it for when I do my solo acts. Audio output will be going out to your interface. My interface is a Volt, 476, Volt 476P, so that goes out to your interface. Ableton will just be fine, however you have it. Uh, I do have markers because when I run tracks, as a solo artist, I like to repeat the same sections just to kind of stretch it out a little bit. Uh, of course, when you have a full band, you don't really have to do that because everyone else will take their own solos. But as far as Ableton, that's how I did it. Now, I took these tracks out of Ableton. I ran them out the back of my interface through a TRS cable and I ran it back into my interface through uh, one of my inputs. And then I'm gonna go to Logic and I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna take a video of this as I'm explaining it. Go back to Logic and I'm recording my voice right now. But I took what I, I took my tracks that were coming out from one of my outputs on the back of my interface and I ran it back inside of Logic and I had it coming into input one. And so that's how I recorded my tracks. Now, how I recorded my instrumentation, my guitars and my, uh, my guitar and my bass. I have my bass. I'm gonna use my bass as an example for this video. I have my bass. I had that going into my pedal board, which isn't shown. I have my pedal board going into my amp. That's it. Then I had an XLR or a microphone cable going back from my amp into my interface, into Logic. Same rinse and repeat for my guitar. And that is how I recorded my almost my entire set of performing for the Buda, Buda's Farmer's Market. Simply, it was stay for it. And then after I, after I got done, I uh, saved it onto my SSD over the next couple of days. I then did a little mix and I released it. It's on Apple Music. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go listen to it. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's it entirely, exactly. It entirely, actually. Um, yeah, pretty much straightforward. I mean, of course, if, you, if you're running a five piece band, this won't work. <laughs> unless you have an interface that has multiple inputs, but at that point you might as well just get a mixer. But this works if you're a solo artist and you want to record your, your set, it's easy. It's probably, it's probably even an easier way to do it than what I'm saying, but this is just what I had and this is just how I did it. And I hope that this video helped you. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Welcome to the family. J-Dug out.